What's up, Unbroken Nation? Hello, my friends. I'm Michael Unbroken, host of the Think Unbroken podcast and founder of thinkunbroken.com. And I'm honored to be your trauma coach and mentor because I believe that everyone is capable of getting unstuck, cultivating self-love, and becoming the hero of their own story. I believe that when implemented correctly, the practical tools and education you will receive from this show will help you lead an unbroken and extraordinary life. I believe that no matter what we come from, that we all have the ability to choose ourselves first, to create and manifest a powerful and grace-filled future, and love the reflection in the mirror. I believe that every day is a day to grow, learn, heal, and change. That's why I started my company, thinkunbroken.com, which is an online training and healing and personal growth platform where you get everything that I know about how to get motivated, be accountable, get out of the vortex, and become the hero of your own story through community, connection, and commitment. For more information, visit thinkunbroken.com. Please listen closely as you may learn just one thing that will help you be unbroken. And please share this episode with at least three of your friends because we all need community and connection in our healing journey. And be sure to DM me and tag me on Instagram at Michael Unbroken so that I can say hi. I just wanna thank you again for being a part of this, for listening and being a member of the Unbroken Nation. Now, let's get into today's show and make the world unbroken. Hey, what's up, my friend? Hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Uh, super excited to be back here with you for another episode of the podcast. So I was a guest on a podcast recently, and I was asked, how did I know when I healed? How did I know? Was there a moment which I finally felt like I knew who I was? And it was such a profound question because no one had ever asked me that on a podcast before. It's something I've certainly thought about a lot in my life, but no one had ever asked me. And so I was like, maybe I'll share that with you guys today and give you some context. Maybe something here will be of value to you. So before I tell you the story of the moment, let me tell you a little bit about like the precursor. So I think about this idea of clarity and intention all the time about who it is that I want to be in the world, how I want to be that person, how I want to show up, the things I want to do, how I want to do them and why they matter to me. You, you know how I feel about clarity and intention. It's an intention. It's everything. And so I was thinking about my life and this journey to healing. I always think that healing is a process. I think it's more about a journey. I don't think there's a destination here. I don't know that there will ever be a moment in time in which I'm like, yep, I'm healed. Got it all figured out. Let me go about my life. See you later. I think that it is a forever process because again, if you take into consideration that we are the sum total of all of our experiences leading up to this moment, then there's going to be more moments, there's going to be more experiences, there's going to be more growth, there's going to be more things that we learn, discover, and uncover as we go down this journey. But in the process of that, I think understanding who you are starts with your values. And I've talked about this before. And then through your values, everything funnels through it. The decisions you make, the choices you make, the way you show up in the world, the way you have inner dialogue, the way you talk to even your inner child or reparent yourself, your wants, your needs, your interests, the things you say yes to, the things you say no to, everything flows through the foundation of those values. And so as I've gone through this journey in my own life, I think to myself, all right, what are my values? Well, when I first started this, I had no idea. So let's say for context, you have no idea what your values are. You've never thought about it. This is the first time this has ever come up in concept. Well, how did I discover my values? Seven, eight years ago, somewhere in that window, I was listening to a podcast. And this was before podcasts are what they are today. And the person on the show was like, everything's about values. You have to know who you are. You have to know what you stand for. And they start rattling off some values, right? So let's say they rattle off mine. Honesty, kindness, self-actualization, and leadership. So those are my values, how do you figure out your values? Well, let's pretend it's seven, eight years ago. I was listening to this podcast. Let's do what I did. I grabbed a dictionary 
literally grabbed a dictionary or I went on dictionary.com. And what I did was I took a piece of paper and I just started writing all the words about the person I thought that I could be. And then I was reading the definitions of the words and I was trying to figure out, does this align with my life? Does this make sense of who it is that I want to be or who it is that I believe I am? And so I took a handful of words that I thought immediately and I read the definitions and I looked at the definitions and I wrote out the word and then I wrote how that word applied in my life, what the definition of that word meant in my life. Now, I will tell you this, removed from that day, my values are very different because I have a better understanding of who I am. I have far, far more clarity about who it is that I am today than I did then. And hopefully this will hold true in 10 years. I don't know that your values have to forever be the same once you decide what they are. And my values certainly have changed. I would say the four honesty, kindness, leadership, self-actualization, those are steadfast. I, I would be very surprised if they changed anytime soon. So I sat down and I wrote down the values. And then I started thinking about the way that they interact and they parlay in my life. How do I use them as this filtering system or this funneling system to do all the things that I want to do in my life? And then I started doing all the things that I wanted to do in my life through that system, through asking myself, Am I being honest? Am I being self-actualized? Am I being kind? Am I being a leader? Right? And a leader for me always starts with me first. You have to be a leader of your own life before you can lead someone else. And, and so the further and deeper that I got into these actions around my values, the closer I got to understanding me. And in that, that also started playing a role in the way that I did things like choose a therapist or choose a coach or choose a course that I attended or whatever that thing may have been. So the deeper that you get into understanding yourself, the further you have massive consideration around the choices that you're making in alignment with your values. So let's say you have your values, you have your actions, you're doing a lot of things that are in alignment with the direction that you believe you should be going. Well, how do you know when you heal? Again, I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you. I wish I had a moment in which I can say, this is the magic number. This is how it works to know for certain that you have healed. I don't know that that happens. Because even for myself, I'm like, well, I still have to do the work. I still have to learn. I still have to have my coach, have my therapist. I do my things, right? So what about on the way to maybe if that moment happens? Well, I think about that moment a lot and those individual moments that add up over time to help me understand better who I am today. And those moments involve a word called peace. And to me, peace means that I'm living life with and to its full degree around what I do and do not want. So I'm going to share a story with you. This was, this was a moment that I felt like really, really signified the experience of what it felt like to be myself after trauma, after abuse, after all of the shit that I've been through. Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? Michael here. I just wanted to take a moment and invite you to the Think Unbroken Community Coaching Sessions. We start these sessions at the beginning of every month, and we take a deep dive into the baseline and frameworks of what it means to get out of the vortex and become the hero of your own story through community, connection, commitment, and education. You can learn more about this at HealTraumaCoach.com, where you can fill out an application and sign up for a trauma healing call with me or my team to see if the Think Unbroken community coaching sessions is right for you. That's at HealTraumaCoach.com. We start at the beginning of every month. I cannot wait to see you there. And I'll be honest with you, if I'm not the right fit for you, we will help you find the person that can help you on your journey. So in 2018, I decided to go live in Asia and I'd been bouncing around. I'd lived all over Thailand. I lived in Singapore and Bangkok and Malaysia and Vietnam um, and Indonesia, you know, uh, quite a few different places. So anyway, one particular day, I'm, I'm on a ferry. So I'd been on this little island called Koh Phangan 
And I had to go over to a bigger island, which was basically across the street. I think it was like a 45 minute ferry ride uh, to an island called Koh Samoy. And on Koh Samoy, I needed to go and do some documentation and stuff for a visa. So I'm hanging out, I'm walking around, I get the visa. The next ferry doesn't come till late in the afternoon. Late evening, it was like 5.30 or something when this ferry came. So I decided I'm gonna go hang out and I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna explore this island. It's a big island. I mean, I would call it the the size of a, a significant downtown. Like it's probably like a, mm, I wouldn't call it a Chicago sized island. It's probably more of like a Minnesota sized island somewhere in that window, if that's any frame of reference that may not have been helpful at all. And so I'm on this island and just motorbikes and cars and street food and all of the best things that I love about Thailand, amazing people, all the shops you can pop your head in and look around and blah, 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 blah. So I had this awesome day. And as I was leaving, I get on the ferry to go back to Copenhagen because that's where I'd been living. I've literally been living on this island, doing Muay Thai, reading, writing my book, running my businesses, all of these things. So I'm on this island. And anyway, I'm on this ferry, excuse me. I'm going across the ocean and the sun is starting to set and I'm looking out the window and for the first time in my life, I happy cried. Tears of literal joy were falling down my face. And this had never happened before. That experience you see in TV and movies and people talk about, I never had that before. I didn't even know that it was physically possible for me. And what I understood in that moment as I was on this ferry and I was listening to a band called The Temper Trap and I had just got done reading a book and I'm looking out and the sun is setting and the sky is turning this beautiful like rose, this bright burnt rose red color. I'd never seen the sky turn so red before. And as I'm looking, just tears are falling down my cheeks. And I understood something about that moment. And that was that I had peace in my life because I was living life on my terms. I was doing what I wanted to do because I wanted to do it. Saying yes to the things I wanted to say yes to, saying no to the things I wanted to say no to, trusting my gut, trusting my intuition, living life through my values and showing up for myself. And I will say this, I think the moment when you understand and you know who you are after you've experienced trauma and abuse is that moment where you're living life to its fullest based on what you want, what you need, what you are interested in and saying yes and no to the things in alignment with your values. Because in that moment, my friend, I believe that is where you find peace. And I think about that every single day. How do you find peace in your life? You have to remove yourself from the chaos of all the naysayers. Remove yourself from the chaos of the past. Talk about this idea of letting go of the past a lot move further and closer into this present moment, living with authority and authentically as the person that you are, because you chose to be this person, because this is what you want, because this is your life, no one else's. And will there be a magic moment where suddenly you look back on your life and you go, I'm healed? Maybe, I hope so. I hope that's in store for all of us. I don't know what that timeline looks like because I haven't even had that moment, but I don't think about it. I just think about right now. I think about this moment, this present time that I'm in today. Am I living in my values? Am I saying yes to what I want to, no to what I want to? And ultimately, do I have a sense of peace because I'm showing up as the person that I believe I'm capable of being? So my friends, thank you so much for being here, listening to this episode of the podcast. Please do me a favor, leave a comment, like, subscribe, review, tell a friend, and until next time, my friends, be unbroken. I'll see you. 
Unbroken Nation, hope that you just got a tremendous amount of value from today's episode. I want to know what you think. Please do me a favor and review, rate, and share the episode with three friends on social media today. It would mean the world if you did, because ultimately at the end of the day, creating community and connection is how we heal generational trauma in the world. And I need your help to do that Unbroken Nation. So if you're on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you are, please like, comment, share, review. I want to know not only what you like about the show, but how I can make the show better, how I can make this further about helping you on your healing journey. So do me a favor. And when you do shoot me a screenshot of you making the review to my DM at Michael Unbroken on Instagram so that I can have a conversation with you, say hi, and more importantly, so I can share it with the Unbroken Nation. Thank you so much, my friend.